Um, you know, I, I felt like we set the tone at the very beginning um, and just kept our foot on the gas. Um, we, we thought that, again, rebounding was going to be key. They just had the bigs inside. We knew we were going to double um, Colbert and, um, you know, we, we had Rachel uh, on their other post players. So uh, we, we felt like that, you know, trying to get them not to score in the paint was huge. Um, you know, we, we, we go to East Carolina and they don't shoot threes either and one kid makes five in a, in a quarter. So we were hoping that wouldn't happen again. So, um, but I thought we did a great job defending them and then running down the break. You know, we talked about getting everybody in there on the defensive rebound. Um, we, won, we won the rebound in battle by nine. And, you know, we felt like that started our fast break. So if we could do that, I thought that was huge. Did a great job, you know, um, of, of, of sharing the ball and, and, and really creating um, you, you know, a lot of mismatches. I, th I thought that, you know, Rachel drove in the lane and they tried to stay out on Marta and she would score in there. So um, I thought it was a great team effort tonight. Uh, Coach, you know, obviously you guys lost the last three conference games. Talk to me about how good it is to get that taste of winning back in your mouth. Uh, I don't know if you can say how good it feels. I mean, it just, you know, I, I think there's certainly a lot of pressure, but you know, we, we've had a really good schedule and, um, you know, there's a lot of games to play, but, you know, it certainly takes some pressure off. Um, I'm really happy with the way the team responded because I didn't feel like we played with pressure tonight. I thought we played the kind of basketball we've been playing. You know, when you think about the 0-3 the last three games yeah. during this conference play, you were in a similar situation last year. Yeah, you ended up runner up in the conference, yeah. WNIT. Do you take some parallels there at all? Oh, we talked about it. You know, we, we certainly talked about, um, you know, Coming from behind is okay. Um, you know, if you look at our schedule, I mean, we have South Florida again. So if you look at our schedule, our schedule is really tough at the beginning. Uh, I mean, everybody in this league is good, but I think the better teams we've got at the beginning that we've got to fight through and we got to try to get some of them. But, um, you know, I, I don't think we're playing poorly. I, I think we've played pretty well. We just haven't been able to finish things off. So um, it, this was good to, to leave from start to finish on this. I think this gives us a little confidence. How, how good is it to look down the bench and still see Moon Hurst on the bench there? I always there. want to put her in. I mean, that, you know, I haven't put her in yet. I've made it through this all this time. I hadn't put her in. But, uh, you know, it, it's been great having her around. And, you know, I just think her energy and her passion for the game really helps these guys out. And uh, she certainly helps me out a lot, too. That said, obviously, Kayla Anderson over at Loyola. Yeah. Owen Coach Kennedy. Yeah. You heard any progress from her at all about how she's doing? She's doing great. You know, I think the thing with Kayla, I mean, I don't think they've lost a game. So I'm a little jealous over there. You know, they haven't lost a game in their top ten. And um, But Kayla's around, and I think this is a great experience. Kayla does such a great job over there. I think she's going to learn a lot. And she's seen it from a different side, which is always interesting when a player comes back and talks to you about being on the other side, about they don't listen or things like that. So, um, you know, I, I'm enjoying it, honestly, for her to do that. And I, I think she's got a great mentor in Kelly. Rachel, on the last game of CCU, you kind of had some little struggle scoring. Uh, was that on your mind to get out to a quicker start in, for this game? I mean, not necessarily. Obviously, I want to ball the basket a little bit more, a little better percentage than I did in that game. But um, I mean, I was just kind of taking what the defense gave me, and um, I got out in transition. We got the boards, and <clears> we got out really quick. And I had one on one girl was really small that was guarding me so I could try to take it inside a little bit more in the first quarter and I mean I love getting to the free throw line probably my favorite way to score because um, I'm shooting the ball pretty well from the free throw line so just taking what the defense gives me. Let's talk about that crazy first quarter you guys got out to the, I think it was 11 to start the game and then wound up shooting 72% or something like that in the first quarter. Just talk about that first quarter and why it went the way it did for two right? Yeah, I mean, we always talk how we're best when we're running in transition. I think when we were getting the defensive boards, that's been a big emphasis for us because we had got rebounded, out rebounded by South Florida, which really cost us the game and stuff like that. So when we got our D boards, I was shot out of a cannon trying to get the outlet pass down the middle while my wings were already all the way down the floor. So when you have that type of spacing, um, that opens things up for me, whether if they're gonna take me one-on-one -on -one inside, then I can take it all the way to the rim. If they're gonna double, I'm gonna kick it out to my shooter. So um, my, my wings were running really well early, and so that's kind of what opened everything up for us. Karen, I think you guys blew the game over. I think it was 28 to six in the third. Um, the coach talked to you guys at, about defense at halftime. It seems like you guys came out more aggressive defensively in the third. Let's talk about that third quarter that where you just, I mean, already uh, 
we came when we came out of half time and she was basically telling us just keep that same energy basically the same energy that we came out in the first quarter that's the same thing we want throughout the game and I think we did a good job overall this entire game one through four all quarters coming out with that same intensity and the defense that we had created offense like Rachel said like us getting the rebounds and pushing out and getting the wings wide and stuff like that it created stuff for her Dinah is created stuff for everybody basically to score with. And just talk about uh, today's game leading from uh, the ECU game. Obviously, three losses to start the conference. You know, you guys talked about it. What was what was the feeling? Was the feeling almost of desperation? Uh, how were you guys feeling? Uh, I wouldn't say desperation. I think it was a low blow, I guess, because who wants to lose for real? But um, it made us hungry, and I think we came out tonight and. We were passionate. We played for each other. We played our ball. We hustled. We got rebounds, like we uh, like we said in the beginning of the game. We met some of our goals, so that's all we can do is really play our ball. Coach, defense. What are you most proud of for this game? I mean, I think just being they were locked in. I, you know, I, I feel like um, they went out and played, and and um, you know, I challenged them right before they went to tip. Is like. You know, let's see how good we can really be. Like we know how good we can be, and and I thought, I mean, we were 31 to 16. Maybe I should say that every, every huddle. I don't know, but I, I think they really um, were locked in, and um, Rachel really pushed it. We were able to get some easy shots. You know, we hit some shots early that really probably took some pressure off. Um, you know, we doubled their post. That was going to be really important. You know, Anijah got that first foul. We knew we had to protect Anijah. We didn't want to, if we got in foul trouble, Irina came in and did a great job. Um, and so, you know, we felt like we had to control that. And once we were able to control the paint, I felt like um, they had a lot of confidence. And, you know, it's, uh, I, I think we have so much potential. I thought we got really good play off the bench. You, you look at, um, you know, uh, Middleton gets five rebounds tonight. And, you know, that's, I think that's important. So. Um, you know, all these games are going to be tough and they're going to be hard. And, uh, you know, even going to South Florida, last year we went to South Florida and beat them there. That's really hard to do, you know. Um, but I, I definitely feel like we sat in that locker room, what, 10 days ago and said we, we can beat them if we play well. So we'll see what we can do. My one and only question is that. <laughs> I don't believe it. For me, I think just going off of her, like we we're focused more, of course, but um, confidence. And when we came out and played our ball with our offense, our defense, it helped us flow on both ends. Like our defense was flowing into our offense, which led to our offense flowing into our defense. And just being efficient and playing the ball that we know how to play, working with each other, sharing with each other, like that stuff makes a big difference. And I think that was a difference, at least personally for me, that I noticed in this game between last week. Yes, that's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice job, ladies. Okay, so you two, like, miss, like, how many shots between you? Like, Man, if I just didn't shoot.